Today we're going to look at the mode, median and quartiles for continuous random variables. Let's start with the mode. Here is a probability density function for a continuous random variable. And if we're looking for the mode, we're looking for the highest point on the graph, the most popular point. Well, in this case, looking at the graph, we're looking for the maximum, the local maximum. So we need to differentiate. So to find the mode, first of all, differentiate. F dashed x is going to be 5 over 8. Differentiating 2x cubed gives me 6x squared. And differentiating x to the 4 gives me 4x cubed. And we want to put that equal to naught to find the mode. Well, if we put that equal to naught, we're going to get, let's factorize it, 2 comes out. That gives me 5 over 3x squared. And then we have 3 minus 2x. If that's the case, then either x is 0, and from the graph we can see that's not the point that we're looking for, or x equals 3 over 2, and therefore 3 over 2 is the mode. Now let's see how we can find the median. The median is the middle value. So the probability of being less than the median is a half, or 0.5. So we're looking for Q2, so that the probability that x is less than Q2 is 0 0.5. That is the same as saying the integral from the smallest, the lowest value of x, up to the median Q2 of f of x dx is 0 0.5. Quite a simple little problem. So let's have a look, in, look at an example. Here we have a probability density function 20 over x squared between 4 and 5 and 0 otherwise. If we're looking for the median for this function, we're looking for the value which splits the area under the graph into two equal parts. The probability that we are less than the median is a half. The probability that we are greater than the median is a half. That's what the median really means. So if we're going to find it, we are looking for, first of all, the probability that Q2 is, that X is less than Q2, sorry about that, is a half. And that is the same as saying the integral of 20 over x squared dx from the lowest value, which is 4, up to q2 is half. For integrating, we get minus 20 over x between 4 and q2 is equal to a half. If we play with that, we get minus 20 over q2, putting q2 in first, minus minus because it's the bottom limit, and 20 over 4 is 5. And if we work that out, you will find that q2 is 4 and 4 ninths. Does that look sensible? Well, the probability density function is coming down. I would certainly expect the median not to be on the right of 4.5 or to be 4.5. It must be a little bit below 4.5, which it is. Finding the quartiles is very similar. The median breaks up your distribution into two equal areas. The quartiles will break it up into four, and so the lower quartile, the probability that x is less than the lower quartile must be a quarter. Integral from L to Q1 of the probability density function must be a quarter. And exactly the same idea, upper quartile, probability that we are less than the upper quartile must be three quarters. From the lowest value to the highest value, or to up to 
Q3 must give us three quarters. You will find more about this in your textbook S2 on pages 54 to 60.